For those who are new to my channel, I have finished my Bronze to Diamond series, so please do check that out if you are interested in seeing me climb and explain game by game how I go through every single elo in this game. Anyways, if you have seen already, then I welcome you to my Korean Adventure series. So let me get you guys up to speed. It's actually impossible to create your own Korean account without a social security ID. So the only option for any non-Korean streamer to play on the Korean server is if they've bought the account. So here we are. I introduce you to which basically means dumplings that are pounding on the ground. Hopefully we can play peacefully on the server without getting banned and everything will be sweet. So while living in Sydney, during my initial test, my ping to the Korean service was about 300, which is borderline unplayable. With the help of VPN, I'm able to lower it to around 200, which is still alarmingly bad for climbing. But with a lot of struggling, we should be able to reach Diamond eventually. Hmm, okay, we're starting off with an invade. Not expecting- Ooh, go, go, go! Got the KS. Whoa, this guy's inting into us. Let's take it. Oh, they're not backing me up. Alright, let's go. Uh, I think we get a double longsword here. Let's get out of here. I'm definitely feeling the lag. So because we're here in lane really late, it's going to push into us, but also he's going to hit two way before us. Oh, I can't cancel that auto. Oh, okay, Graves was here as well. Damn, we're gonna miss a really big wave here, unfortunate. Everything I click on, everything I do, has a delay. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Every, the slightest delay is enough to put you in tower range for that. Wait, this guy... Huh. He even tried to dodge my W. Like, is he really silver? Very fishy. Okay, let's go and get Krugs here while we're waiting for him to push in. And also the fact that he's level 5, which is what I want to do is dive him. But the thing is, Graves is nearby. He's like revealing me and pressuring top. Okay, he's missing. Okay, we'll just shove Jax in and then go back and buy items. So because Jax is pushing into me, he's going to be stronger at the moment. Especially if he has Conqueror stacked as well. We have to be careful. Once we get some Fury, then we can fight him. If Jax is pushing, we let him push in. If we try to see us or do anything, he's going to chunk us pretty hard. Nice. I had to ult super early because I don't trust this ping. Okay, so rule of thumb, when you match the wave properly like this, it's slowly pushing into us, we can go and take jungle camps on the way. Okay, let's head back to lane and we should be able to dominate. 30 seconds before our ult comes up, otherwise we don't fight him. If he fights us when our ult is up, we can just kill him. But for now, I just want him to push in actually. I need to take CS though. I don't just like give it up for free either. He has a lot of sustain with Cutlass, so we're not going to try to trade too much with him or else we'll just end up losing. Our all-in is when we have ult up and we have fury. So this is where he has to back away because we have fury advantage and we also have conqueror advantage. Ooh, nice. So good cocoon. Oh yeah, I can read that this says Jax over here. So whatever he's saying, I don't know what he's saying actually. Oh, jungle gank. He says, oh, how could you get a jungle gank or something like that. But if you guys remember my first death, well, I got ganked, so... Damn, I didn't get first blood tower. Our bot lane got it. Take more jungle camps from Grace. Yeah, 
If we find him all in, we should be able to win here. And just clear out these backline minions. There we go, got him. And yeah, because I'm lagging, I can offset that by taking a lot of jungle camps on the way, so I can get almost perfect CS. I'm taking Rift Herald anyway, because this is where I am already. I've already started it, so... May as well just finish it off, it's not going to take too long. Okay, nice. Take Rift, now we'll push this out. Our whole team actually just got wiped. It's pretty bad. They're all mid. I'm going to save Rift for mid. Okay, never mind. They might be rotating to me, actually. Okay, I'm going to try to go mid, see if I could push this in. If there's not many people, and they might be like pushing top or something, I could drop Rift. I want to drop it when it's safe. I'm going to push in top to get a response first. And then see what happens. I do want to drop Rift ASAP. Okay, looks like it's not contested. Oh, actually. But I can summon Rift from back here. Should be fine. Pretty safe. It's just that it doesn't get cancelled. Especially with Thresh and Lissandra. They can... Oh my god, that... Brave... No, I pressed off. Oh, whatever. Everything feels so slow. I feel like I'm chained and shackled. You know, like, I feel like my champion is just like shackled with the iron ball, like really slow. Everything I press is, feels so weighed down. This is my very first game playing on this server. Damn, at least died there. I was trying to hit the minions to splash my team out onto him, but... Mm, damn. Ooh, Infernal Drake. Let's actually go there for Infernal Fight. Unfortunately, surrender votes are coming in. Well, Kaisa just went in. Oh, okay. He flashed. Nice. I'll take it. Nice, we got both of them. Okay, sweet. There's two coming for me, so I'm just gonna back away. Oh, they're coming straight for this bush. Aren't they? They're not gonna catch me. Just anything that can kite me is going to be very annoying because of its ping. I don't think Jax can stop me anymore. His build is really bad. Oh my god, Grant is here. Damn. You get kited too easily by Graves. Oh my, she's dead. Oh, 
We can get a Mountain Drake here. Um, I walked forward even though I wasn't. It just keeps walking okay. forward after I get the kill. I guess we'll try again. Uh, let's. Hmm. Damn. Let's try again. Oh, Jax is there. Get free scuttle crab here because I see Jax down there. A summoner has disconnected. I have to be so focused because of this ping. I have to actually just not talk and focus. Just so I can play properly. Like, I have to click ahead of time, basically. Yeah. The best way to fight a Garen is just to all-in him. The longer the trade, the better, but make sure that you can take his combo, and then just all in. I feel like a Draven where I have to predict where I'm going to go, and just click it right away, like ahead of time. I need to at least poke him to get rid of his passive. Okay, I got rid of it with W. As long as the chicken comes up, then you got rid of it. I can't move. Wait, I think my ping spiked to like 400 or something. I actually... Everything was extra delayed this time. But yeah, normally my internet's already really bad, so it has random spikes, even on the OCE server. Yeah, if I'm to get the diamond, it's going to be a huge grind. It's going to be a very long grind. Unless I move to Korean server, then I'll be fast. Mm. Man, this Master E is inting really hard. Okay. Oh. Yikes. Oh, Janna AFK'd at level 2. After dying once. Is that like the Korean thing? Okay, nice. We get first blood tower. I popped a point into W for the extra slow. Nice. He's running it down. What is this? This is low elo Korea. Let's see. Okay, let's go help them out. Actually, they got this, right? Okay, now they got this. Let's go drop rift. So yeah, this is the Korean AFK or int run it down. Like a prime example of this. It's in Korea, but it's really dumb because what they decide isn't the right call at all. It's like completely wrong. Wait, what? Huh? Is that me lagging or is... Okay. He's trying to run it down. Do you know what? If Twitch and Rakan actually fought me, it would have been very favorable even if Garen doesn't do anything. But yeah, this is hard inting, and this one's AFK. And that's what I mean by silver elo. I think this happens in OCE as well. They just run it down or they rage. If we get 3.3k, we get Rage Blade. We can really run people down with just right clicking. Huh.
Okay, let's just get the free Garen kill. Ooh. I'm coming in. Oh, damn. Oh, my. Run, run, run. They'll need to stop me because this is a massive wave that I can push with. Right, I should be able to push faster than these guys as long as they defend. I mean, this Pantheon is 7 and 6, but he has some really scary items. He just tickled for some reason. Okay, we're gonna get in here here. Oh yeah, also with these items, I can solo Baron. Alright, let's go kill this Garen. We'll get red buff and then we'll go and finish these guys off in the middle. Garen's very easy once you have items. You outscale Garen so hard. Okay, let's go and get Baron. Okay, there we go. Let's head over and try to take this tower by force. Oh, yikes. Okay, nice. Now we'll come back in. Oh, please. Oh, we got it. And the funny thing is this Janna is level 4 even though she was level 2 when she left the game. So it's pretty interesting how you can get levels by staying in the fountain. Alright, sweet. So 18 and 2, everyone else is doing pretty badly except for Ezreal. Let's just back away, wait for our team to be in position to pressure. Oh my god, this E couldn't even get one. Hmm. Oh, what? what are you doing? Like, like what? So that's the mid laner that we're working with. And 2 and 10 Master E. Basically no one's doing well. And then we have Janna that's AFK since level 2. That's my team in a nutshell. Okay, Garen's up here. Heal up. Oh. Damn. I was pressing to go in, but then I saw Twitch. I was like, oh, damn, it's too late. Already spinning in. Oh. I can probably solo Baron. Last 
Okay, that's fine. Pantheon ulted away. I ulted there. I have to defend. This is frustrating. Man, this server is massive, yikes. <laughs> 